Hey everybody, Spooky TVX. I uh, wanted to tap in about that um, second part of that um, R. Kelly that came on last night. Um, I just sat down and watched it today. Um, it, uh, shit. I mean, it's so much shit I see in that damn thing, man. I just. It just makes no sense to me, man. Okay, first of all, our Sparkle is just too, uh, she seem pissed, but then she don't seem pissed. She's like too damn nonchalant with this shit. Like, she talking about uh, R. Kelly paid his, her daughter, I mean her niece, and then all of a sudden, um, and then um, after he paid her, that's when everything happened and all this shit, just the way she was saying this shit. And then, um, they painting him out to be a goddamn, the devil himself. Which I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that he, he right or he wrong. I don't know. I wasn't there. But the people that was there, the people that was there, turned the goddamn back on it. And then you got this, um, the one that came on last night when they had broke it out with that girl um, that met R. Kelly because she was following him on his trial and going to his trial when she was 16. Lied to R. Kelly, told R. Kelly she was 19, and then when he's about to start having sex with her, she want to say she's 16. And he said, well, just keep telling people that you that, that you 19 to act 21. Like shit like that, man, like they like, I'm not saying it's right, man, but people put themselves in these goddamn situations, man. And then when shit happened, they want to be the goddamn victim and act like they can't explain what the damn happened. They want to be crying and shit, man. This shit just crazy, man. And, and, and people talk all this shit about R. Kelly and all this shit. He's not the only one. He's not the first one to do any, any type of shit like this. He's not. You got fucking um, um, Elvis. You got fucking um, um, Chuck Berry. And these are Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, man. You got fucking who else, man? Who else, man? Oh, so many people, man. When they go on, when they go out, out there on the road, man, they out there on the road, fucking and shit, man. They don't, some half the time they fucking fucking teens, man. That's running up and chasing them, man. And then I just seen a new thing just now while watching. I seen a thing with fucking Drake, got, Drake Drake on the goddamn stage, um, kissing the goddamn uh, seventeen year old. Then she says she's seventeen, and he said he don't want to go to jail. And he kissed her on each side of her damn face, on her forehead, and then kissed her on the goddamn lips. After he got damn feeling her goddamn titties. Fuck, man. Are they gonna do the same shit to him? Or are they gonna just brush this shit off too? They sit here, man, they crucify the fuck out of R. Kelly, man. And a partner of mine, man, um, a partner of mine made a video earlier, man, a shout out Max V, shout out Max, I see you, man, um, Max make a video, man, saying that, um, would you still buy and support R. Kelly music, and, um, without hesitation, I said, fuck yes, I will, you fucking right, and I stand on that. People still supporting fucking Michael Jackson. People still buying his shit. People still buying fucking, they still gonna be buying Drake shit. Uh, people still gonna be buying, they still buying Elvis and shit. They treat Elvis like he a fucking god. And the list goes on, man. All the way into movies, all the way into the whole goddamn scene, man. You can't just you can't just do something to one person that you won't do to everybody. Do it to everybody. Cause when you do it to one person, it feel like you set it for like it's just a person that you just don't like. Instead of bringing it to everybody that that that, that, that did some shit. 
I mean, they put goddamn murderers and um and violent killers above above a person that's been with they say children or or um teenage girls and they should be in the same goddamn category. What excludes them from this from uh, from their sin? What's different? They except for they killed theirs. The person they the person they do they can't come back. They can't tell no goddamn story. They can't end up on goddamn lifetime. It's over. This shit just crazy, man. How people just fucking they so fucking biased on shit, man. They fucking I don't know, man. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, speaking up for R. Kelly. I'm not standing up for R. Kelly or nothing like that, man. I'm just saying what's right is right, man. That's it. What's right is fucking right. If you're gonna do it to R. Kelly, do it to fucking everybody. That's including the people that you know that is not famous. That's out there on the streets right now, either a family member or a goddamn friend. Don't be that person to go there and get the number for him and bring it back to him when you know in your goddamn head and your goddamn mind, body, and soul this is a goddamn kid. Because it don't make you no better. What else? What else is on there? What else did I see on there, man? What else did I see on there? What else did I see? Oh, yeah, the wife. The wife should be a goddamn shame to herself, man. She gonna stay in the goddamn room and act like she don't know what the fuck going on in the goddamn house. Like, she don't, like she don't, see, like she don't see shit. She don't know what this nigga doing. She just in her ass in the damn room and doing it. She's just stupid, man. She's just fucking ridiculous. All the people that fucking helped him do, um, hide the shit. All the people that helped him hide the shit now... Is trying to come out when they see that it ain't nothing else to get. Ain't, ain't, it ain't popping no more. Now they want to come out. Shit is sad, man. Shit is sad, y'all. People need to get their shit together, man, and figure out what the fuck is going on with they. Don't separate two wrongs. Just because one of the wrongs fit you. Or you don't like this wrong, but this wrong is okay. It don't work like that, man. It don't fucking work like that, man. This shit just don't fucking work like that. R. Kelly is one of the goddamn musical geniuses of our generation in R&B. Facts. Facts. He got more talent in music and played with the best of them. When that shit was going on, that trial was going on for his goddamn um, uh, molestation case. When that shit was popping off, he made his song. Uh, he made his um, album Chocolate Factory. And every goddamn person in Chicago was stepping like a motherfucker. Stepping like a motherfucker. And when he made that uh, ignition, everybody had that shit. Shit crazy, man. Shit fucking crazy, man. And people want to talk about uh, Michael Jackson and or or um, anybody that's ever been in a scandal like this. They want to talk about Michael Jackson and say, well, and this is what they always say, well, would you leave your kids with Michael Jackson? Fuck no. And I wouldn't leave my kids with you. I wouldn't leave my kids with no fucking grown fucking adult, nigga. None. So when you, for the person that's saying that, I would not leave my kids with you. That's just, that's just common goddamn sense. You don't leave your kids with every goddamn person that you see. No matter how much they make, it could be fucking Mr. Rogers. 
Ain't no telling what Mr. Rogers done fucking done. Stop saying that dumbass shit. I wouldn't leave, would you leave your kids around them? I wouldn't leave my kids around with the person asking me this goddamn question. Facts. Fucking stupid, man. Shit fucking crazy, man. I'm gonna get off this subject, man. I'm gonna wait till the next one to come on. I'm gonna finish here, sit here and watch my game and see what's popping. You know what I'm saying? It's about to come on right now. Y'all see it. Goddamn Hawks about to get down. Yeah. They better try and blitz. They better try. So, man, y'all have a good one, man. Stay blessed. Stay out the bullshit. Don't be biased. Don't forgive no wrong for another wrong. I'm out.